is this happening to me? I am running so late right now. Bro, what? How is it 12.45? My appointment is at 12.30. I woke up at 7.30 this morning. I've been so busy. I filmed a video. I had to upload some Instagram content that took so long and then I had to shower and get ready. And I don't know what happened. I don't know if I just wasn't watching the time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so late and I'm scared that they're not gonna take me. Sorry, my AC is on full blast. I woke up extra early today because I was like, I have so many things to do and I need to make sure I get to my appointment on time. I'm gonna have to quickly do my intro while I'm on my way. You guys read the title of this video. The very first time I am dyeing my hair in my whole 23 years of life. I'm fine with the color that it is right now. I like being brunette and I just never really wanted to like damage it or have me not end up liking it. But recently, I don't know, I just been wanting a little bit of a change. I'm kind of tired of my hair and I need a haircut anyways. So I was like, why not switch it up a little bit and actually dye my hair? I want to go a little bit lighter. It's about to be summer. I just think that it would be a good idea to switch it up. By the way, no one knows that I'm dyeing my hair. No one knows that I'm on my way to dye my hair today. My friends, boyfriend, family, literally no one knows. I don't wanna tell you guys like what exactly I'm getting done. I'm just gonna let it be a surprise for you guys as well. But I'm excited, I'm nervous, cause I've never done this before and I really hope that the people that I'm going to do a good job. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film in there but I'll just bring my phone in and record here and there if I can. I'm gonna be so upset if I get there and they're like, sorry, you're too late. I'm there in like three minutes, so hopefully they still take me. I'm so upset right now. They weren't able to take me because I'm freaking 30 minutes late. They have a 15 minute grace period. They had other customers, so there goes that. There goes me waking up extra early just to film and get everything done because I wanted to make time for this appointment. There goes me moving my lash appointment that was supposed to be today, but I was like, no, I have a hair appointment, so let me move that. I was so excited to come out of there today with my hair done, and now I have to wait another three weeks because it's the beginning of June right now. So, you know, just laugh it off. It's okay. I guess this works out because I need to get gas. I still haven't eaten anything. Now I can actually eat something, go home, and edit the video that I filmed this morning. You guys will see this in the future. This is going to be connected to when I actually have my appointment. I guess I'll see you guys June 21st. It is the day. God, it looks better on camera than it does in real life, guys. I swear. It actually doesn't look bad on camera. If it was that color, I wouldn't be mad. I'm just gonna be wearing a hat for the next few days. Anyways, let me show you guys how far this is from what I asked. Okay, so here's what my hair looks like, right? It just does not look at all like what I wanted. It looks very cool toned and like ashy and that was the opposite of what I told her. This is the photo that I showed her. You see that? how her roots are brown and then it goes down to like goldish light brown barely blonde there's that and then there's this you're gonna try to tell me that these two are the exact same color and it's all the way up to my roots like I the whole thing is just the same color this is not like that so I have to come back on Thursday and she said it would be an easy fix. I told her I didn't like it and this is why I don't do shit. This is why I don't change anything because this always happens to me. No matter if you go somewhere that has good ratings. I don't know. I saw two ladies in there doing their hair and they both left super happy. She was trying to tell me. She was like, you all, you know, you've been dark your whole life. So obviously when you go blonde, it's going to be weird and you're not going to be like used to it. And I'm like, no, this is just not what I wanted. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Thursday, and we'll see what happens. It's weird. It doesn't look that. Look at me in the viewfinder right now. Yeah, you look sexy as well. Like, hot. it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, you're hot. But in real life, <laughs> I look. What does it look like in real life? Please tell me. You look good. No, I look like a grandma. It looks great right there in that lighting for some reason. Anyways, okay. Thanks for getting all the angles. So, I woke up. I'm looking in the mirror. This is what my hair looks like. 
I want to just show you guys maybe a different angle. This is really bothering me. Do you guys see that? There's like a freaking line right here where it goes to blonde. I don't think it looks that bad. I think I obviously have to like get used to it, but I just don't. I still just don't like the blonde that it is. It's the next day. Like I said, I'm getting a little bit more used to seeing myself with blonde instead of really dark brown hair. So I'm getting more used to it the more I like see myself in the mirror. They also didn't give me a haircut, so I just called in again and I'm going in on friday for a haircut it's really dark down here and then it's just like really light up here i'm honestly really nervous to go back in because i don't know if she's actually gonna do what i want or if she's just gonna try to fix it in a way where she thinks it looks good so we'll see how that goes that's in a couple days and then friday i get my hair cut and then that'll be the end of this video see you guys then so it's thursday right now i am back to the hair salon my hair's in a ponytail right now i honestly feel a lot more nervous than i did the first time going here like now i'm actually like really really scared if you guys see a little bump up here i literally just popped a pimple i'm not wearing any makeup i just woke up because my appointment was at 5 30 initially it's almost five right now i woke up from a nap and then i got a text saying that the hair dresser she had time for me to come in earlier so i was like okay whatever i'll just throw on some clothes and head over there right now the sooner i can get this over with and see the final result the better i'm just so nervous guys i know you guys are watching this after the fact so you can't really like send me any like positive vibes i'm really not a like confrontational person it's really hard for me to be like i don't like it can you please fix it because i don't like making them feel bad by the way in the beginning of this video i probably came off a little dramatic or aggressive to me now it's just really funny because obviously it's just hair it's fine it's really not that big of a deal if i don't like it i can just get it fixed somewhere else and i don't think she expected my hair to lighten up this much because she even said like your hair is really dark so it might even be darker than what you're going for and then it comes out really blonde she's good at what she does like i don't want i don't want this to be taken as in like i was bashing her and her skills and stuff because she did a great job she took her time and she did her technique and worked her magic it just wasn't what i showed her wish me luck guys i will be back and uh we'll see how it goes and i'm back my hair is done it looks so much better just pretend like i have a full face of makeup on to complete this look right now once she finished blow drying it and i saw what it looked like how it blends in more with my natural hair color and how much darker she made it up here instantly was like okay yes i'm happy i told her that the blonde was just a lot and she was like okay that's fine i can fix that we can tone the blonde and make it a little darker if you would like that and i was like yes and this is pretty much what i meant when i said I just wanted to go a little bit lighter for the summer. I didn't mind how blonde some of the pieces were before. Just having it that blonde kind of made me think like maybe later on in summer I'll go a little bit lighter. So tomorrow I'm coming in for a haircut and for a treatment. My hairdresser is leaving now. Hopefully she doesn't see me in here recording. Oh my god, this is so awkward. I'm gonna pretend I'm on my phone. I love her. She was super nice about the whole thing. So shout out to her. She probably won't ever watch this, but she I told her that I did YouTube. She didn't ask for my channel name. So thank God or else she would see that I said that I hated it. If you guys have any recommendations, because obviously now that my hair is dyed, I have to obviously like kind of keep up with it more. So if you guys have any recommendations, please comment them down below. Any purple shampoos that you guys really, really like or just like things to just take care of dyed hair hair and make sure that it stays healthy just any products that you guys use that you love for your hair comment them down below because i am not the best at hair care good morning it's the next day i still am not used to seeing myself with this hair it's probably weird for you guys too i just changed so my clothes is on the freaking floor but um i'm about to head out right now to my parents house i'm gonna go over there and get my mom and my brother's reaction and see what they think i don't know if my dad's home if you're wondering where this dress is from it's from princess polly by the way does it look like i'm a different person right now or do i look the same my friends all saw my hair yesterday. I've been getting people telling me that I look older, but I've also been getting people telling me that I look younger. I feel like I look the same, but also every time I look at myself in the mirror, it's just still a little like shocking. Yesterday I got my hair cut. I just got some long layers in it and stuff because I desperately needed a haircut. A lot of people when I posted on my Instagram asked me what I asked for. All I did was go on Pinterest and search up like brunette 
balayage. I just showed her the photo. I just told her kind of like that I wanted to go a little bit lighter, that I wanted some like warmer caramel kind of tones in there. Today's Saturday, it's freaking hot. It doesn't even feel like Washington right now. It's crazy. It's supposed to go all the way up to like 113 degrees, which is insane. Oh. We just hit a bunch of traffic and I literally thought I was about to crash. Okay, um, I'm gonna stop vlogging now. I will see you guys once I get there. I just got here. I texted my mom when I was leaving, but she never texted me back. Hey. What are you doing? Hey, Look at my hair. <laughs> Fuck you and your hair. Can you see this? <laughs> but I'm gonna please this. <laughs> Do I? Okay, so now my mom's saying that I look older. <laughs> some people are saying that I look younger. No! Who's saying that you look younger? <laughs> like, some people are saying that I look younger. No, you think, I, you think I look older? You look way older now. What? <laughs> uh, if I saw you, I'd be like, oh, she's like 27 now. <gasps> Oh my god, I aged five years. <laughs> well, good because I I looked like I was twelve. So. <laughs> That's what you want, you dummy. What to look twelve? Not twelve, but you want to look younger than you are. Do I look the same? Because when I sent my brother the video, he was like saying that I look like a different person. I mean, you still look like a different person. I do. Yeah, like you change your whole hair style. So, I mean, I feel like I look the same. You're, just, you're used to it now. Yeah, I think I'm used to it now. Okay, that's basically it for this video, guys. I think I'm gonna end it here. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Are you making me food? No. I'm hungry as hell. I need something. <laughs> See you guys in my next video.